for me, uh, head to toe assessment. So, head to toe, physical assessment, head to toe. So, it is a systematic collection of objective information that is directly observed in the research through examination techniques. So, the purpose of this is to understand the physical mental well being of the patient, to detect the diseases early stages, to determine the causes of disease, to understand any changes, condition, or the become diseases in improvement or deterioration. So preferably yeah, is what we have. We have a glass of the glass is the monometer stethoscope, tangent pressure, pen light, tape measure, weighing machine, ophthalmoscope, autoscope, percussion hammer, watch, scale with height measure, pulse oximeter, and cotton balls. So assessment, uh, assessment position, positioning is standing position. So fine position, seat taker, salary, recumbent position, sims position, prone position, knee chest position, and the uh, anatomy position. So, and, uh, so now, uh, head to the assessment, uh, the caregiver must uh, know the waivers. A uh, caregiver must know the waivers. So, we already know that what is a caregiver. So, now next is. I will explain the procedure to the patient. Uh, good morning, sir, ma'am. Good morning, sir. I am the higher caregiver today. Uh, I need to perform head to toe assessment. Is it okay with you? I need to perform foot operation. Is it okay with you? So, uh, in performing head to toe uh, assessment, the proper uh, sequence will, will start from inspection. Auscultation, uh, inspection, palpation, percussion, and auscultation. But uh, it will interchange uh, when we come to abdomen. So the sequence will be inspection, auscultation, percussion, and palpation. What is the reason of this? This is to alter the bowel sound. Not to alter the bowel sound. This is not to alter the bowel sound. So to assess the alert, uh, alertness and orientation, uh, you will ask the patient, uh, what is your name, sir? Your full name? Richard Salazar. Richard Salazar. Do you know where I am now? Yes, I am You are in the hospital. So do you know the day today? March 25th, 2015. Uh, okay. So what will be, uh, what will I perform? So, do you know the current uh, president of the Philippines? So, what is it? Rodrigo Duterte. Rodrigo Duterte. So, Rodrigo Duterte. So, the patient alert. The patient is alert and oriented times for because he answered the question quickly and correctly. So, through the question, you can assess the emotional status of the patient, the response, if he is calm. Agitated, relaxed, alert, or drowsy. So, as, I, as you know, uh, my patient is uh, he's, uh, relaxed, he's comfortable. So, also, when you are assessing the uh, patient, you can inspect already uh, uh, his hygiene, the smell of the patient, and his body group. So, the body group is very, uh, the body group is normal. And he smells good, and he is uh, taking a take shower. So next is I will take the vital signs. So I'm taking vital signs. Uh, you have to take a temperature, pulse rate, respiratory rate, uh, blood pressure, oxygen saturation, and the pain. So let's say I already, uh, I already. Okay, so um, as you can see on the. So aside from, aside from the pain scale, if the patient is okay, we will apply the post Yes. So if the patient is, uh, is in pain, we, uh, you have to rate the patient from 0 to 10. So let's say if the patient is rated 5 or above, so it's mild severe. So you have 
to make sure to assess it using the cold spa. So what is cold spa? Cold spa is characteristic of the pain, onset, location, duration, sensitivity, pattern, and associated factor. Proceed with the 
cranial nerve sa metafacial nerve. So, to assess the facial nerve, sir, uh, kailangan mo blood, sir? Hindi pa rin siya, hindi pa rin yung part na mag-blood scan. Wala pa yun. Sa ano pala yung infection? Ano, infection na pala. Infection na pala. Infection na pala. Infection na pala. Now, I will assess your nerve. Uh, okay, so, now I will... So, ma'am, sir, can you please close your eyes? Uh, can you smile? 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 Temporal artery, tapos, temporal, uh, itong, ano, masipermasol, 
and the pain uh, the pain uh, we will assess the pain of the patient. So um, aside from the pain scale, we'll also um, assess if the patient is in pain. We will apply cold spa. Cold spa. So cold spa stands for the characteristics of the onset, pain, location, the onset, location, the location, location, location the duration, the pain, severity, the severity, severity the pattern, and pattern, pattern, and pattern, and associated. So after that, I will check, will proceed with the height and uh, height and weight uh, checking. So uh, for the height and weight checking, it um, uh, that will be on the case to case basis. So if your patient is on bed, uh, at table and is bed treated, no need to check your height and weight. But if your patient is able, uh, if we can, we need to check your height and weight. So the um, so for us to uh, measure the BMI of our patient or the body mass index. So the normal will start from 18.5 to 24.9. Nine. So that will be the normal BMI. So below 18, that will be under And um, 25. Over 25. So 29.9 is um, overweight. And above 30, that's obese. So after that, well, of course, while well, we're assessing our patient, we're uh, well, checking the vital signs. We are also assessing the, the general appearance of our patients. So like um, the smell of our patient, his overall uh, get up, or the uh, appearance of the patient smell good. Also we are also um, assessing or we are checking the uh, body build of our patient. So the same kind of And after that we'll proceed with head assessment. Head assessment. So for the head assessment, we need to position our patient in a sitting position. So make sure you will apply your learnings on how to properly position our patient. So yes. first we will, of course, lift the position. And of course, because make sure you apply the right position because it's the head position. Yeah, because the other, sir, can you please sit down? <laughs> palapasin ko talaga kayo. Medyo na, apply, ano na yun? Ito, ano na siya? Application na ng lakar. Kasi yung iba, sir, kanyang visit na. Nag-positioning na yun, sir, tapos na. So, after that, we'll proceed with the head assessment. So, first, we'll inspect the head. So, we'll, um, like the head is symmetrical to the body. Uh, the ears is symmetrical to the head. The eyes is normal. It's the same size. The nose is um, no discharges. symmetrical, and I'm not seeing any um, discharges or drainage. And um, after the after that one, uh, the color is fine, and I'm not seeing any irritation, skin irritations or no redness. or or redness, redness. on the area. So guys, okay lang yan interchange as long as ang yung uh, okay, talk sir. na kung ano. And I'm not seeing any irritations, redness, or masses on the area. So after that, we will. Assess cranial nerve number seven, which is our facial nerve. So, sir, um, can you please close your eyes tightly for me? Can you open it up? Can you please smile? Can you uh, do frown, please? Frowning. Can you please uh, pop up your cheeks? Okay. So, um, cranial nerve number seven is intact or normal. And now we'll proceed with the palpation. So for the palpation, we need to wear our gloves. So for the palpation, we uh, will palpate the, um, the head, of course. We will check for any infestations on the area and any um, baldness or alopecia. And um, upon palpation, I'm not seeing any, I, uh, I didn't palpate any skin breakdown or masses um, on the head. And I'm not seeing any um, drainage as well or um, uh, inflammations on the area. So after that, we'll assess cranial nerve number five. Which is our trajectory nerve. So um, first, we will, before we assess cranial nerve number five, we'll first feel the Temporal, temporal artery. artery. So temporal artery is two plus. Two plus. 
And now we'll proceed with the um, assessment of cranial nerve number five. Cranial nerve number five is cranial nerve. So first, we'll feel the. Sir, can you please um, uh, bilateral uh, your feet? Okay, so first, we'll feel the masseter muscle. Masseter muscle. And the temporal muscle. Then, sir, can you please open your mouth uh, while I'm uh, by your system? Okay. And uh, we'll feel the temporal mandibular joint. Temporal mandibular joint. So, first, sir, can you please open and close uh, your mouth? One, one more. Okay. It's good. Then, we'll feel the maxillary sinuses. Okay, man. So, they feel pain. How about here? Then, the frontal sinuses. They feel pain here, sir? Okay. So, cranial nerve number five is intact. What's the indication, sir, for painful um, sinuses? So, is it swelling, with, sinusitis? Uh, there's like, if the patient is uh, felt uh, feels pain on this area, so probably the patient has um, may meron siyang nasal problems or mayroong sinusitis. So, mostly, pag, na, pag may mga sipot-sipot tayo, pag nagpasakit yung sinus, yung mga sinuses natin, mostly, makaramdam tayo ng pain dyan. So, 